Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with my Avis Country Cupboard Haul. This is the Black Friday order from when she opened at midnight, um, Thanksgiving night into Friday. I think I placed my order when I got up at 4 a.m. though. Um, and then I went back in because I forgot a couple things. Um, a few tidbits about Avis. The owner is Lindsay. She um, has a Facebook group. She's always asking questions, you know, about what you want to see. You know, she's trying to get customers input on what to pour. Um, she does combine orders if you place, you know, an order, say, the same day or even possible. I don't know if it's the next day or if it's just the same day. Um, and she does offer free shipping over $25. Her She had a Black Friday sale of 20% off plus the free shipping over $25. So I got a good amount of stuff for a decent price. Um, I think I paid like... $35 for everything total and because I had free shipping since I my first order was my first order was over 25 my second order was under 25 but she refunded me the shipping because she she combined shipping so um I think I paid 35 for everything with the sale and the free shipping um so anyways so um I have got four hauls to do today so I am crazy I'm sitting here with my free my free peppermint mocha. Um, we live three hours from Nashville. I have the Dunkin' Donuts um, DD Perks app. And I um, we live three hours from Nashville. And when the Nashville Predators win their hockey game, the day after they win, we get a free coupon for a free medium iced or hot coffee loaded onto our Dunkin' Donuts app. And so um, we got one on Sunday and there's one on there today. So I'm, I've been racking up the freebies. I'm going every time they have it because I need as much caffeine as I can get. Um, so anyways, so I'm going to jump right in. I know you guys do not like. Why do they have to act a fool every single flipping time I'm going to record? Anyways, I'm going to jump right in. I know you guys don't like crinkling. I don't have enough room at the on the table to open everything beforehand. So I will be opening things. I'm going to try to make it as quiet as possible, but it's not always, you know, possible. I'm not going to open the samples though. I'm just going to open the other things. So she's very generous with samples too. So the first sample I got is Main Street Christmas. I have scent notes for almost everything too. Um, it's mulled citrus fruits, cinnamon, clove, snickerdoodle cookies, and a fresh cut Christmas tree. And this smells really, really really good um it does smell a lot like you know baking and I, I wish that I had grabbed this I may go back I checked the website last night and I don't think there was any more of this in stock in any form the next one is pink tinsel and pink tinsel is pink sugar blended with pomegranate strawberry raspberry with a subtle hint of fresh peppermint leaves and vanilla and this one's really nice as well I kind of wish I had gotten this too um but I didn't um, there's only like three things I couldn't get scent notes for, and I think they're pretty self-explanatory, so I don't, I think that's probably why. The next one is Elf Sweat, and it's candy canes, candy corn syrup with effervescent spice and, or spicy soda, ever, effervescent spicy soda bubbles. I was in a hurry writing these. I had writ written out the other scent descriptions, and I was in a hurry to get these samples done so I could get this video. I like Elf Sweat. I never even smelled it before, and... I really like it. Um, <clears throat> I may try to pick up some of this if I can find it. And the last sample is Icy Shine. And this may be my favorite. Juicy melon and sweet raspberry pooled with bountiful bouquet of muguet. It's M-U-G-U-E-T. Peonies, magnolia, and white musk. And this smells really good as well. So those are the samples. I'm not going to separate them by order because, I mean, I don't remember. I delayed my email once I received the package and verified everything was in there. I didn't. I deleted the email. So I don't even know which one was order one and order two. I'm just combine them because they were all combined anyway. So the first thing that I got here is Mrs. Claus. And this actually went back for because I forgot about it. And it's sweet sugar cookies and greenery. I love how she puts the pour dates on there. That way there is no, you know, no no questions as to when they were poured. These are the big snowflakes. These are a good, I think three ounces or close to them. I mean, this is huge. I mean, you, you should be able to tell oh, that's very tall. They're just massive. 
and it smells really, really, really good. So I am so excited to grab that. And I wound up, in fact, getting two of Mrs. Claus. The next thing I have here is Spearmint Snowflakes. And I actually have a pack of this I got in a D-stash a little while ago. Um, and it smelled so good I gr grabbed some more. And it's Clean and Creamy Vanilla Sweet Sugar and Spearmint. And these are the Baby Flakes. I usually cut these in half the baby flakes. I know some people melt them whole. Um, I find with most of my vendors, less is more. So if I cut it in half, oh, it smells so good. I get that spearmint real good, which I'm on a spearmint kick lately, y'all. Um, if you haven't noticed with all my purchases, <laughs> I have been doing a lot of spearmint and that smells really, really good. The next thing I got, and I'm so kicking myself for not getting more, it's Ultimate Lemon Cookie. And it is sugar cookie with a citrus twist. And I really, really wish I had gotten another pack of this because this smells so good. My husband really likes, he loves lemon. And so, and these are, I love these pinwheels. They're so cute. It is so good. It's, I, I, I feel like, okay. I smell almost like a shortbread cookie with lemon. It is really, really, really good. Um, it says sugar cookie, but I kind of smell like a shortbread which is fine. I don't care either way. It smells good. I really wish I had gotten another one of that. I may have to check the D-Stash pages. <laughs> the next thing I got is Peppermint Sleigh Ride. And this one is Frosted Snowdrops, Peppermint Leaf, Hint of Pine, and Berries. And this one is really, really pepperminty. Um, and these are the baby flakes as well. I really love her shapes. Um, she's got awesome customer service. She is so nice. I really, really, really like ordering from her. The next one is my husband. This one was my husband's favorite. He absolutely loved this. Snow Covered Pine. And it is crisp, woodsy pine with a hint of cranberry and fresh fallen snow. And I was smelling these and he was like, let me smell that. And I, I have him smell it. It smells just like a Christmas tree. And I love these Christmas tree shapes. Um, but anyways, it does. It smells so, it's got that pine. I love it. And um, so I really wish I had grabbed more of that too because that one's really nice. That'll be really good right around. We get a real tree anyway, so we kind of get a hint of Christmas in the house. But I do like to put in my living room warmer more pine or Christmas tree scent. The next one is Frosted Pine Cones. And it's pine, uh, pine, spruce, rosemary, carnation, cedar, and a hint of spice. I love vendors that have scent descriptions easily available on the website. It's so much better for me. And this one's nice too. I was afraid I was not going to like the pine ones. And they wound up being probably close to my favorites. They're not my favorites. I like the bakery ones more, but and the minty ones. Um, the next one, and this one my husband wishes I got more because it's another favorite of his, flannel sheets. And it's freshly washed flannel sheets, clean cotton type. My husband's favorite Yankee Candle scent is clean cotton. So, um, anytime, yeah, it smells very similar to clean cotton. So, yeah, anytime I grab anything clean cotton, he's all over that. My husband is probably one of the only men that I know that is very into wax. Um, I don't know. I, I do not run across many men who are into wax. He just, and it, it's not just wax, it's candles in general. Like he used to work at Yankee Candles. So he kind of, you know, he used to make the candles. Um, so he kind of just got a feel for it, but he's, he, he's always, let me smell that. Let me smell that. Let me smell that. The next one is caramel marshmallow cookie. And this one I could not find a scent description for, but I assume it's just caramel marshmallow and like a cookie and these little gingerbread guys are so cute I have a really hard time I got some of these last Christmas um and I had a really hard time cutting into them because they're so cute so those are that some of these I'm gonna wait till like later in the winter to melt some of these I may have saved for next year um, the next thing that I got is candy cane frosting, and I wish I'd gotten more of this too. It's sweet vanilla frosting and peppermint. 
I know the baby flakes. I love the baby flakes. Yeah, I really wish I'd gotten more of this. I don't know if she's having a December restock or not. I haven't really been paying too much attention to the website. I've been too busy chasing packages for the last week. I had um, seven packages out for delivery yesterday. Received two. And my mail carrier, you know, came to my door and I said to her, Oh, and this is for all of you guys who actually are having the same issue because I know there's been a lot of people posting in different vendor groups talking about it. Um, my uh, um, mail carrier and I have become pretty good friends because I have a lot of packages coming um, usually. And then sometimes if I do de-stashes, I have a lot going out. <coughs> so she and I have come become pretty good friends. So I had seven packages out for delivery yesterday. After all the thieving and stuff going on that I've seen people posting in like wax chat about, I, I always try to be home when I'm going to get packages. So I had seven packages out for delivery. She came, I'm thinking, okay, she's got this big bin. She had two, two PFREs for me. I said, where's the other five? She said, oh, when I left at 945, they were still unloading the pallets. I said, well, they're out for delivery. And she said, well, when they scan them on the pallets, they get marked out for delivery, even if they're not delivered. I said, okay, that's stupid. Um, this was like 4, 4.30, 4.45. My daughter had her choir concert last night. Um, we had to be there at 5.45 for her to get ready to perform at 6. So we left the house at 5.40. And when we got to the school... She went to the music room and we went to the auditorium. We were waiting. I checked my phone and got an alert that I had packages delivered at 547. So when we got home from the concert, my other five packages were sitting at the doorstep. So she told me that they probably, because she said they were still sorting um, till like noon because they had so much come in from Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. So she said, if, and she told me to tell my friends because I've been saying a bunch of my friends have been having issues too. She said to tell my friends that your local post office is probably doing the same thing. You may get your mail and there may not be what you expect to be in it. And then you might get a package later or it may just have to wait till the next day. It depends on how your post office works. I live in a city of 30,000. So we usually have enough mail carriers. But it, like in a small town, they may not. So anyways, um, so the other five got delivered. <laughs> so I've been chasing packages. Like I had ones go to Disney World that were supposed to come right here. I had ones stay in Missouri for four days and never leave. And it's like, really? So I had not paid much attention to anything else of what the vendors are doing. Because I'm trying to get what I bought. <laughs> it's not their fault. It's the stupid mail. All right. So the next thing that I have is pink peppermint. I already took it out because I've been rambling. And this one I could not find scent note for. I assume it's just like pink sugar peppermint because that's about what it smells like. These are the big snowflakes. I love these. They look so good. Oh, they smell so good and they're so pretty. I can't talk today. I think I need more coffee. I haven't drank. I haven't even drank like a third of my coffee yet. So I think I need to get on that. Um, I have to get lavender scents. So the next thing I got is lavender vanilla mint. And it is fresh lavender, vanilla bean, and fresh mint. And I really wish I had gotten two of these as well. Because this is really nice. But look how big this poinsettia is. It is massive. I mean, it fills the palm of my hand. So that smells really good. So I can cut that in many, many, many pieces. I got a four pack of Smiley's and Lavender Wishes, which I love. It's milky, soft lavender with hints of sugar and vanilla. And these things are so damn cute. Mm, yeah, I like that. I wish I had gotten two of that as well. And the last thing that I, this is the one of the things I went back for the second time was orange cream cupcakes. And there's no scent description on the website, but I assume it's just like orange cream you know cupcakes and it's a bakery bag full of the grubby hearts and there's orange and white oh they smell so good it does it smells like a creamsicle with a bakery note so i think it's like orange creamsicle and cup you know and cupcakes so that is that so yeah um her turnaround time is very good I believe she's like a one-man show like Dessa's. I believe she does everything herself. I don't think she has a, a, 
a crew or a staff or anything. I think she just, she, she does it by herself. So to get all those orders out, she got a lot of orders because she had a good sale. She had good shipping. Um, $25 is not hard to reach <clears throat> for most any vendor. Um, so the ones that offer free shipping over 25, I think tend to see more sales because it's not hard to reach that amount, especially when you like the wax. Um, there's a couple I can think of off the top of my head that do either flat rate shipping that if you spend $200, you're still going to pay like five, 10 bucks or, um, you know, the free shipping over a certain amount. So it just depends. Um, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to check her out. She still has some stuff on the website. I just checked last night and there's still a bunch of stuff on the website. So go ahead and check her out if you haven't already. She's still, the coupon code for the 20% the, the off is done, but the the, 20, uh, the free shipping over $25 is on her website. So I'm fairly certain that is permanent. Um, so go ahead and check her out. It is $3.95 for shipping before $25. Uh, but that's still not bad because it's going to go into PFRE. So you know you're still saving money on shipping. But it's not hard to spend $25. she has got a lot of good stuff. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I have three more i got to do. So I'm going to uh, stop this and put these away and get a new video going. So anyways, um, I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.